bread on me. Bread on my bacon, pick it flat in the bacon. I might just roll out today. I might just roll out to Vegas, head back to my old ways. Got the roof and roof and all day. Look at me, baby. Look at me, baby. Don't I look like a million? I'm about to clean out the safe. Don't I look like somebody that just be body and everything? All that talking is great, but I don't be talking. I air it out. All the problems have gotten easy to bury. I'd rather I'd rather kiss on my m I've been broke away longer than I've been rich, so until it levels out, I'ma take mama to the merry I don't got him. Took me so long to get it, gonna spread it out. Let them know all about me when I'm dead. One in the hand, one in the bag, bubble. One in the hand, one in the bag, bubble. Welcome in, everybody, to another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. And now the offense getting ready on second down. Second down, Ryan able to fight through one tackle. Going for the deep ball. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And it's third and five. Well, they decide to air it out a little bit on that play. Take a shot downfield, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Dolphin football. Tannehill and the Dolphins break the huddle. Come up first and 10 at the 40. 20! They'll try and get the run game going. This is Miller. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. On second down, here's Miller. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. On first down, Tannehill. And he finds Danny Amendola. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Falcons say they have it, they do. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Dancing to his left. Over the middle, it's caught by Rodgers. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On third down, that's Oliver. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because... They handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box, though. The Fasano here brings it in. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. 
And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And that's the type of run that you'll live with. In this game, he's had a good number of carries. He's just been unable to really break off anything substantial. And they'll go on the ground. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Ryan heads down to a knee, and that should wrap this one up. Well, as always, partner, an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline because you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the media buffet. <laughs> you made it to the end. You didn't consume a single...